Hello. Good afternoon to the people who are joining from India. And a good day to the people from the rest of the world, whatever time zone you are in. Hello, our guest has joined us. Uh, so welcome to yet another episode of the Author Collaborative. And as always, I'll be talking to a fellow author whose book I have read and enjoyed. And this time I'm especially excited because this is somebody I have been wanting to invite ever since, you know, our first episode was a really good hit and uh, we enjoyed talking to each other. And I have been telling her to write another book so we can have a chance to do this again. I'm so happy to have her here with me and it's going to be a really fun filled laughter induced session. So do stay tuned with us. Hello, thank you for joining. Let me invite her without for today's episode. We are already late. <laughs> Hello, hi Jinmay. Hi Manali, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I am good, good. So long time, after long time, again. I think it's been over a year, no? Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a year, yeah. Yeah, so I, I was just telling everyone that I was pushing her to write another book so I could invite her to for doing this. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes. You have always been so such a cheerleader for me. Likho yeah. Chinmay so that we do another session and that yes. somehow it has worked all the time. <laughs> I am so happy that it worked and uh, in such a good manner because uh, the book that we are going to be discussing, the book that your book which is going to be in focus for today's episode, which is Traces and Memoirs. It's a wonderful collection of uh, short stories. I really enjoyed it. Uh, can you show us the book cover before we go Thank ahead? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is my book and uh, Traces and Memoirs, Stories of You and Me. And uh, let me tell you, this book has been designed by my uh, sister, my younger yeah. sister. Her name is Jamini Supriti Sahu. She is my technical go-to person because I lack every every <laughs> skill in technicalities, you can say. Had she not been there, this book no, would not have been here. Oh, wow. So a lot That's of people really have uh, loved Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. color, the combination, everything. I have already heard from many that they loved it. Yeah, yeah. It's a really pretty cover and it makes you feel like you want to take the book. It's really catchy. And Manali, this is the first time that this book is coming live. You can say this is online book launch. Oh, wow. That is happening. So, thank you. Oh, it's an honor. That. Uh, and we are having a book, virtual book launch of uh, Chinmay's book. On my platform, yes. I'm so happy about that. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Manali. We already have uh, people commenting that it's really pretty. Thank you so much for the appeal. Thank you so much. We also have hearts coming in, so people really like the cover. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, so, uh, based on my experience of reading the book, I have a few questions for you, of course, because I am such a curious person. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, can I, you know, start bombard you with my questions already? <laughs> All yours. I'm all yours today. <laughs> uh, I am just going to open the questions till the time I do that. Uh, would you like reading out a few paragraphs for us from the book? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, when you write a lot of short stories, sometimes you struggle to find out which one is your favorite because everything is like, you yeah. know. So, anyway, I'll just read a paragraph uh, from one of the chapters. It's The name of the chapter is Classic Claustrophobia. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Vinit not only felt humiliated, but also felt a feeling of strangulation that hit him at that very moment. He could not breathe enough to be able to talk, let alone counter them. He tried to grab his tie and knot to loosen it so that he could continue his breathing process, but he failed. He closed his eyes in that moment of desperation. Alas, all he could see was the doors of the lift closing in front of him. He felt claustrophobic and like a spring, he stood up from his chair and walked towards the exit with his back facing the board. He simply opened the door and continued walking away while ignoring every single call behind his back. He went and sat on his desk with a feeling of phobia still intact. He then quickly drank a glass full of water and started 
typing an email on his microsoft outlook and in a matter of minutes he hit the send button of the mail marking all the concerned he felt light very light then he grabbed his tie knot and took it out of his collar and threw it in the dustbin with a big sigh he had truly never liked wearing a tie something that he realized only then yeah i really uh... liked how this later turns out to be you know a very metaphorical the tie so in this particular story we realized why we were talking about the tie in the beginning of the story after what happens during the end of the story and and that's a wonderful you know uh, full circle kind of a thing in this story yes <laughs> i am so grateful that you read all the stories and uh, you know you enjoyed it uh, so thank yeah you. i did and uh, especially i think i have already mentioned a few stories i don't remember the titles but the one i really enjoyed was i think u uh, turns wala kuch title hai disastrous u turn yes. yeah that was a really good story and uh, a few other like, tough to write also yeah, it was yeah. a little tough to write yes, yes. and uh, what i especially liked is in each story you have touched upon a social issue which is so important to talk about and you know मुझे पर्सनली ऐसा लगता है दैट बिकॉज वी हैव दिस कैपेसिटी टू रीच आउट टू सो मेनी पीपल थ्रू आर राइटिंग इट्स आर ड्यूटी टू राइट अबाउट सम थिंग्स यस बिकॉज या इफ नॉट वी देन हु इफ वी डोंट राइट देन आई मीन द इश्यूज आर देयर व्हाट वी नीड इज अवेयरनेस इन सम फॉर्म ऑफ द अदर एंड क्रिएटिव पीपल कैन डू इट विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो रिलीजियस वॉर or the outcry that is happening you know the message is sent and in a positive way so exactly. that has been my effort also while writing yeah. this book and it has come out so well so congratulations on that and now okay. we begin with the barrage of questions that i have for you my very first question because i am very fascinated that how you are able to do so many things you have a government job and you blog regularly and you also publish books now what i want to know from you and i'm sure everyone who's listening also wants to know how do you manage the time give us some time time management tips manali to be honest i i suck at it <laughs> i really suck at it <laughs> i myself you know you know i try to find time to do time management because i struggle with it a lot to be honest uh i have a full time job and it is quite demanding in the sense um, yeah a lot of people think that government jobs do not have a lot of work pressure but it is always the glass is greener at the other side you know mm-hmm. only when you become part of the system you understand where the lacuna is and how much pressure you have to uh, go through uh, so my uh, job demands a lot of a uh, uh, lot of uh, physical presence and i don't have a work from home kind of scenario wherein mm-hmm. you know at least virtually you can manage a lot of things i understand even work from home has its own lacuna has its own cons but then at least you know the physical travel is not there but here i have to travel uh, and be there uh, physically present so apart from that uh, coming back home i get exhausted but then ye jo kida hota hai na ki nahi i have to create something otherwise you know mm-hmm. and it happened uh, since lockdown so hmm. after lockdown i started writing more uh, but then uh, once the lockdown was over it became more and more difficult because everything is coming back to normal hmm. so you are strained out of you know you don't have that much time in hand right. because uh, so yes it is difficult but what i can say is um, the passion to create the passion to read to engage with uh, people like you so that keeps me going so mostly when i come back from office i start scribbling or you know uh, keep writing or reading something like that so after office uh, it is my writing time so that's how it is uh frederick is saying so good to hear from you <clears throat> thank you neil thank you so much work from home has become boring in my <laughs> i know i know it has become boring <laughs> but then so is uh, you know the strain of coming and going every day up and down that is also difficult yeah but uh, kudos to you yaar yeah. i i have always told you this and i'm going to keep saying it because uh, i really admire how you are able to manage it i i mean uh, i know there is a notion in people's mind that government job is easy but no job is easy let's let's yeah so but in this case manali take a 
take a bow because you know you i do not know how consistent how i mean how do you do it you are so consistent with your writing you have a new book mindful musings and peaceful ponderings and i loved your book and book after book this has been your sixth book i guess sixth or book yes. sixth right right i mean kudos to you a big round of applause and uh, with apart from that you do book reviews and you do all these uh, live sessions i mean i should learn something from you <laughs> about time management <laughs> बट यू करेक्टली सेड इट्स ऑल अबाउट पैशन अंदर जो वो कीड़ा होता है ना कि नहीं मुझे क्रिएट करना है नहीं मुझे कुछ करना ही है अनदर थिंग वॉट आई थॉट इज यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट एज फोमो वो फोमो नहीं है हम में वो पैशन ही है फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट नहीं है बट आई ऑल्सो है फोमो मेरा तो फोमो भी है बिकॉज वो मोनिका वाली बात जो है वो जाएगी नहीं अंदर से but i loved your poetry book so much so much uh, you know impact you have created with those with your concise poems you. they hit hard you know they hit hard yeah. uh, and your uh, poem strength not strong i really loved it i Thank really you. loved it and lost at first sight this is a new poem that you have introduced right yes. i was smiling through it i was smiling through it it was like a short story where i could visualize you and manan <laughs> <laughs> but that oh, word about the talk actually happened and it was like okay ye kaha ja raha hai nahi that is what i did while reading it there was a smile on my face and i was visualizing you both and it was like a short romantic movie and all this you created with a few lines of while writing poetic lines kudos thank you i am so glad that you know that particular poem is out to you because i was very skeptical because i never write personal poems i make it a point that you know my husband comes and my personal uh, life essays come the least into my books at least on my blogs i do write about it but into my books i have never uh, experimented with that so i'm really happy that you liked it <laughs> i loved it <laughs> okay uh, my next question to you is uh, how do you do this transition between you know uh, blogging to short stories and uh, to poetry what is the process that you follow in in this transition see yeah, i would say uh, i my brain wouldn't uh, there's no such process but it's all about in which kind of mindset you are suppose uh, mostly on twitter i am more active uh, on twitter so i keep writing short poems so poetically <laughs> i don't have to visit my blog and write it twitter is kind of my creative outlet okay. wherein i just go and you know probably ek din mein ek bar to hota hi hai so hmm. i go out and you can say um, us din ki jo feeling hoti hai whatever i am feeling on that particular day or maybe there are some pent up feelings that i have been feeling for past few uh-huh. days i somehow it comes automatically and i just write it down yeah. and uh, there's a lot of appreciation there also so and sometimes you you want to say a lot of things but you cannot say directly mm-hmm. so you write it through a poem so yeah. you know because yeah. uh, direct that it might not make sense but those kind and those feelings are very deep and uh, only people who understand or love poems will understand what kind of emotions you are trying to portray and it might mean yeah. differently to different people that is the yeah. beauty of it yeah. that is the beauty of uh, you know uh, writing poems because uh, it means different to different people okay. so yes so for that uh, twitter is my go to page for poems and uh, and sh- uh, short story yeah some the story tries to come out of me i could hmm. so when that happens i try and write it and novels i have been writing it's a long process and uh, my first novel is yet to be out i am little skeptical because uh, i am in two minds whether to write a novel a first or a novel i am in the process of creating it so let's see how it goes so i am yet to yes i am crossing my fingers thank you so probably a novella or a novel depends how the plot is going on so hmm. let's see how it happens so 2023 do we see a novella or novel coming from you two fingers crossed <laughs> or maybe this time next year we can do this again I will keep pushing, pushing you. You know that. So <laughs> <laughs> and I love it because मेरे को थोड़ा push करना ही पड़ता है. 
Okay. Uh, that brings me to the end of questions I had for you. Uh, uh, if you have any questions for me. Yes, I have. I have. Uh, so, novels or poetry or short stories, similar kind. You know, what kind of different mindset do you have? Because you have uh, already published a novel. You have written uh, books on poems, and you all also have a short story. Uh, this thing. So, you are an author of six books. so you can tell me what kind of mind shift requires you to go through different kind of process of creating such kind of uh, books you know uh more than anything else i think for me at least it is uh, about the message that i want to convey uh, and which form of writing it will go best with uh for instance if i want to talk about something related to nature or something related to the, what i'm feeling i think a poem would be best justified uh, in that message uh if it is something that i feel that will not be conveyed through a poem i put it in a short story mostly or short story maybe agar wo fit nahi ho raha hai then it ultimately becomes a novel so love triangle uh, my debut novel that's what happened i started it out as a novel it turned into a novel exactly <laughs> and so beautifully <laughs> our first section was for that right yes yes and uh, it it became so uh, well accepted and well loved that you know now i'm uh, doing a spin off of from from it actually and it makes me feel so grateful that the first debut novel that you i wrote yeah. was received so well that it inspired me motivated me to write a continuation yeah. of the same story yes and we are eagerly waiting i am eagerly waiting for uh, you know the characters to develop and see how they go from there because yes. uh, I love the ending. You know it. I have already told you, and I am really looking forward to it. <laughs> yes, and uh, I am also excited to see how Varun and Gayatri's story pans out. Because uh, while I was writing them as secondary characters in Love Triangle, I enjoyed writing those parts as well. So to see them as main characters, it's exciting for me also as a as the creator of the story. Actually, it's like you know you are the you know play writer and you know those do me pakad ke kutli ko karte hai na you do that that is lovely no yeah so, yeah. <laughs> yeah so for me uh, actually it's it's the message that i want to convey and that decides the form of writing that i want to do okay that's great so coming back to my second question apart from writing hmm. describe manali desai as a person to anyone you are meeting for the first time so writing rakhte hain baju mein so how would you describe yourself Uh, I think that conversation would end in twenty uh, seconds. Weather kaise hai? Khana kya khaya? Abas ho gaya. So first thing is uh, I, your life. Yeah, I am an introvert. I, it took me a long time to you know become an ambivert of sorts now and open up to people and open up to conversations, being able to. Hold conversation longer than five minutes. वो कैपेसिटी मुझे अभी थर्टी प्लस के बाद आई है. Okay, that is a different. Yeah, sorry, you are saying. I'm saying this is a totally different, altogether a different uh, introvert going into ambivert kind of thing, yeah. you know? Because yeah. I cannot uh, hold a conversation for longer than uh, five minutes, and that's that's one of my weaknesses as well as strengths. स्ट्रेंथ भी कह लो क्योंकि उसके बाद तो मुझे अपने काम की ही बात करनी पड़ेगी रीडिंग आई विल एंड अपॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रेवल आई विल एंड अपॉकिंग अबाउट बुक्स दीज आर ऑल थिंग्स दैट आई राइट अबाउट हो जाएगा हाँ राइटिंग रीडिंग के अलावा अगर मुझे किसी से बात करनी है इट हैज टू बी मूवीज बुक्स वो रीडिंग में आ गया ट्रैवल uh, ट्रैवल हो गया फूड uh, हो गया म्यूजिक हो गया मूवीज हो गई बस ये चार पांच टॉपिक <laughs> उन पे बात कर दैट विल एंड इन लाइक व्हाट वन मिनट इट विल एंड नो नो आई थिंक इफ इफ यू फाइंड अनादर मूवी बॉफ यू कैन कीप ऑन यू नो डिस्कसिंग मूवीज और क्या 
हमारे भी ऐसे ही होता है डिड यू नोटिस मनाली समटाइम्स वी आर ऑन लाइव बट वी टॉक जस्ट यू नो वी समटाइम्स जस्ट गो आउट ऑफ द फॉर्मेट एंड वी टॉक दैट्स व्हाई आई लव आवर लाइव्स यू नो इट्स सो नेचुरल एंड सो रियल इट इज सो अनस्क्रिप्टेड दैट आई लव इट यस सेम हियर आई जस्ट फील लाइक टॉकिंग टू यू आई मीन वो स्क्रिप्ट होता है लेकिन वो दिमाग से बाहर ही चला जाता है and then we end up inspiring each other also i remember last time when we spoke i inspired the story karela katha and which we came Parimata out and i wrote it yes so <laughs> <laughs> and otherwise so hota hi nahi but i felt it so i felt so good because uh, tarang uh, is there you remember our friend yes, he also yes. loved it and uh, you know a lot it was also appreciated So, yeah yeah it was a wonderful story and you wrote it in three parts right if i remember yeah, correctly yeah i was looking forward to each part so excited thi ki maine inspire kiya hai dekho so actually hats off to you because you keep pushing me thank you so much aur writing community mein ye hai you know these things are there so yeah yeah uh, that, we uplift each other so yeah that's a really good thing about writing community and i always say that ki uh, once you are in the industry you might feel overwhelmed but there are so many people who can you know motivate you to do better and motivate you to keep writing okay uh, this brings me to my favorite part so oh, before we do that i also want to read out a poem from ah, my yes 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 i was about to ask uh since you have already mentioned uh, strength not strong I'm going to read that because I have not read that ever. I also love. Can I? Sorry, I What? also love where I was, where I am. I also love that poem. Uh, okay, we can do that also. <clears throat> But I have already read that previously. I want to read so, a poem. Yeah, we can do this. Strength, not strength. Uh, not strong. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this one is titled "Strength, Not Strong," and it goes, "Be brave." you got to be strong learn to live with it it happens to everyone but what if you want to be a little afraid you can't help but be weak you can't you just can't seem to learn how to live with it you want to know why it happened to you is hiding your emotions a sign of bravery is dealing with your problems alone an achievement let's get one thing straight then it is not being vulnerable does not make you weak strength is in admitting you need help strength is in accepting you are not and cannot be strong always <laughs> thank so you so beautifully done because you said you know you have to be strong to be vulnerable that's like a, you know you have yeah. to be strong to be weak yeah. to show your weakness yes exactly so, uh wo wala bhi pad lete hain where i was where i am yes Uh, so this one is titled "Where I Was, Where I Am," and it goes: I used to be lost about my work, not enjoying anything that I did much. Then I found my calling, and now 24 hours seem less to do all the work I want to do. I dreamt of writing books and weaving stories, thinking of it as an otherworldly thing. Then I began to write, and now I have won not one but multiple awards and accolades for stories that I penned. I used to be an introvert. hesitating to take initiative in most things but i now i lean more towards being an ambivert on most days and i'm generally game for talking to new people and trying out something new can these be called milestones maybe so did they make me proud most definitely so would i call one of them my biggest milestone i don't think so because you see i have always been a socially awkward being of sorts in a crowd if someone singled me out I would shy away or just nod my head on their comment about me. But this one time, someone introduced me to the guests as Mr. XXX wife, and I said, "Not XXX wife. First, I am Manali Desai." I shocked those around and pleasantly surprised myself as well. I did not apologize about what I said either. The old me would have, but this time I was determined. I, it was definitely a huge milestone crossed not taking things lying down not allowing someone to be little me not letting myself be defined on their terms standing up for what i believe in voicing out my thoughts without bothering whether someone will like it or not that for me was growth that for me was bigger than any professional achievement or even a personal one that for me was a milestone to be most proud of proud of you Thank you. Thank you. It's a lot of friends. 
I totally understand. I am sure a lot of people will relate to it because uh, to create your own identity means a lot. And especially, I feel uh, this is more. I, I don't want to be gender biased here, but it is especially true for women. We have always been defined by the uh, roles that we have in uh, with with the relations around us. We are daughters. We are mothers. Uh, we are. wives or we are girlfriends or we are partners but we are never our own person so exactly yeah so this kind of thing i also wanted to send out a message that you know whoever is reading this who whichever woman is reading this maybe they will also achieve a, se- a, a sense of self identity yes, and it has hit well because i could relate to it totally and all women reading it will you know somehow because we go through a lot of transition unlike men the transition even they go through but the kind of transition that we go through in a life is far more you know intricate than theirs yes and it's so conditioned also i believe in us that we are all we also start seeing ourselves in the, these roles only yes okay bahut serious talk ho gaya let's come to the most fun part of the session my favorite one which is the rapid fire round uh, so what we'll do is i'll ask you one question then you ask me one question theek hai my first question to you let me just open okay my first question is it's a little tricky because i know you will find it difficult poetry or short stories pick one as a reader and as a writer why ah uh, ye to duvidha mein dal diya aapne <laughs> very difficult you know because so uh, it's difficult to choose but i would say as a reader i would choose uh, a short stories because i love to read short stories and as a writer uh, poems because i keep writing short poems on a daily basis which does not happen with respect to short stories yeah, yeah. it takes a little more time to sit down and you know give a shape to a short story but poem yeah. wo instantly ho jata hai so yeah. maybe totally understand yeah i would have said said the same thing good one your turn <laughs> thank you thank you so coming to uh, my first question for you if one day had 30 hours Hmm. What would you like to do on that day? You know the extra hours. How would you spend it? Knowing the kind of person that I am, I will have 30 hours. I will have to work. I know. At the end of the 29th hour, I will be like, "Shit, today's day is over. This is the end." So, what would you uh, do? Uh, what would I do? Maybe uh, write a bit more. Yeah. that's the kind of person i am i i will probably write for 10 pages extra on that day <laughs> okay on an average how many hours do you dedicate manali for writing uh, on an average 4 hours wow yeah okay so my next question nahi nahi my mera turn hai uh no. you have to fill in the blank in this sentence uh if i could write more i would give up dash i would give up I don't know it. why have you given all difficult questions to me this time <laughs> all of you know brain twisters okay i would give up what i would give up sleep yeah so no, no, maybe <laughs> i have i am an aquarius i have a very difficult uh, sleep pattern i can't fall asleep you know at the right time and can't get up at the right time i have always struggled with it but uh, sometimes i you know feel that you know probably there should be a pill which you pop in and then you you don't feel sleepy and mm-hmm. i can do a lot of thing probably mm-hmm. read or uh, watch um, sometimes i also love watching movies or uh, shows because those are also kind of stories that come to mm-hmm. life right so mujhe lagta hai jo time hum log sote hain you know you kind of destroy uh, that time ye bhi to bahut time se liye pata hai i tell people sone se life kam ho jati hai kam ho jati hai so and people are like no 6 to 8 hours you have to sleep 8 to 10 hours you have to sleep as like oh my god you are losing those hours so <laughs> someone should give me that kind of pill that you know you have the strength ye ho gaya so i would give up sleep happily if that would my body would uh, you know uh, allow me to do so <laughs> very good uh, ye matter mein bhi hamari thinking milti hai your turn <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, second question is year 2022 hmm how do you describe it in one word oh, oh wow in one word riveting 
so it's been it's been a mix of a lot of things uh, but it has been majorly good so but jo bura hua hai wo bahut extreme bura hua hai so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but, but it's been good yeah okay so maybe be- 2023 would be a better year for you wishing that let's hope so and in 2023 i definitely want to write and publish at least two books that was a wow. goal in 2022 but it did not happen because of the bad things that you know uh, but let's not talk about but that let's yeah. not talk about <laughs> yes so here's to a very good 2023 for everyone all the best to you <laughs> my next question to you is you have to describe the following things in one word i'm going to list out a few things you have to describe them in one word first books magic mm yes second family everything <laughs> and the third one community lifeline mm. you can say yes because without community it is very difficult to survive and uh, though sometimes you know i fail at engaging at the right level even i am not happy with myself there's a lot of uh, thing that i can do i have a lot of reviews are pending book reviews but paucity of time and sometimes you can say i am a big procrastinator sometimes i just ha karenge wo karenge i will do it you know it will be there in the back of my, of my mind but it doesn't come to life so that is one weakness that i you know heavily struggle with so you can say that community is lifeline yeah okay you are done okay so uh third question is when was the last time you went through a strong emotion you know both uh whether it is a sadness you know happiness and did a book help you with that and if yes which book was it are ye to bahut hi recent ho gaya uh, so uh, the last two days were not good health wise for me uh, i was down with flu and then i had to do two in yaaj wala interview and on friday also i had one interview so I was not well. You were well. a guest there, right? You were yeah, a guest. Yeah, I was a guest there. Yes, uh, on Friday. I generally do the author collaboratives on Friday, but this Friday I had interview, an interview with somebody else, where I was not the host. So that was a wonderful experience. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, but uh, uh, Thursday and Friday were not good for me health wise. So that that was very difficult for me because uh, touch wood, I am generally somebody who never falls sick. and falling sick is like me personally le leti hu apne aap pe main kaise bimar ho sakti hu aisa so but is it because of the weather in netherlands or yahan pe sabko ho raha hai flu abhi because uh, the temperature has gone down like drastically minus mein chala gaya and uh, thursday and friday it also snowed a little so i think uski wajah se ho gaya and main bahut smart hu na ghar mein wo socks pehne bina ghoom rahi thi to ho gaya हो गया अबाउट स्कूल i was able to relate so well to it uh, at one point he says that you know uh, sometimes we are bullied as uh, children as students in the school but then the sad part is that we also end up doing the same thing to people who are lower than us i was like oh my god that is so true yes it all happens in the subconscious mind you are not aware but somewhere you know you do that ha huh. uh jabki aisa hona chahiye ki because you have gone through it you you should be more uh, empathetic and you know you should not do that to somebody else but school is a time where you are like you know you want to be on top of the pyramid you want to be one of the popular kids so you end Very up doing the same things. yeah you end up do- doing the same things that you hated being happened to you but you end up doing the same things to somebody else and i was like wo mind blown <laughs> it is a little out of context but i think i could find a kind of relation it is the typical saas bahu serials which uh-huh. probably you know mirror what is happening in the society are you know do, don't you think it is the same kind because uh-huh. they have been bullied by the previous generation they end up doing the same thing to the next generation ha wo bhi hai na because ye mere saath ne kiya to i will also do exactly. the same thing with my bahu but they don't understand that the bahu is from a different yeah. generation different and generation different and conditioning all together has to stop somewhere you know you have yeah. to break the chain correct so 
yeah beautifully so, said so i definitely recommend this book because it, uh, it helped me in during these two days so very recent example of the top of my head that's what i could think maybe my next read would be that <laughs> yes okay so my next question to you is the again who you are last time humne karela ka tha kiya tha aise koi question but i put in to another assignment <laughs> this time i am not doing that because both pressure bad jata hai i know <laughs> So my question is uh, the title of the last movie or series you saw describes your life what is it to be honest uh, the, it has been a long time that i have followed a series movie uh, movie or series series yeah, probably i'll go through game of thrones because my life is also like that unexpected turns mere ko pata nahi aa gaya hoga kya kya tha सोचा क्या था वो कह रहा है आई वाज लाइक व्हाट द व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इन लाइफ मैं हैव यू हैव यू कंप्लीटेड द सीरीज यस यस आई होप वो लास्ट सीजन जैसा ना हो हां आई जस्ट आई डोंट नो बट आई फाइंड द काइंड ऑफ अनएक्सपेक्टेड यू नो जो टर्न्स होते हैं दैट इज यू कैन से माय लाइफ इज लाइक दैट आई हैड नेवर बीन आई हैड नेवर इमेजिन माय सेल्फ वेयर आई एम टुडे आई डोंट नो आई डोंट हैव द you know or that's it to imagine also where i'll be <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. game yeah, of the game of the totally unexpected like that ha ha kabhi kabhi mujhe bhi aisa lagta hai ki life mein aise twist and turns aa gaya i think of myself as geet then and and when she says me is the game of the game of the what wrong ho gaya life ko puri se na do bhagwan ji do baba ji so similar kind of twist and turns happen in my life so i don't know let's see I am wishing that you know the turns and twists take me up rather than you know. Yeah, they will. They will. That's my wish. Ah, uh, your turn. <clears throat> so your question is ah, uh, writing or reading? What is more important to you? Reading, definitely. It's like an elixir for writing. You know, if you are not reading, how will you write? If you don't consume the same type of content, consume नहीं करोगे तो तुम same type of content produce कैसे करोगे? That's my belief. So reading. that was a easy one actually because all the writers would say reading but uh, do you also believe that you know if you are writing romance you have to read rom com or is it that you can read across genres and still maintain your writing in a similar kind of genre uh it is not impossible but it's definitely difficult if you are reading in the same genre that it becomes simpler for you to follow what others have done and you know emulate them and uh, incorporate it in uh, your own writing but it's not impossible okay yes my last question to you is a book that took you the longest time to complete or a book that you did not finish oh my god this has to be dan brown's digital fortress i took it up for like six times Six times, Manali, because I feel insulted when I don't complete a book. It, I take it as a personal humiliation. कि ये मैंने कैसे नहीं किया? How could I not complete a book? Huh. So, but I loved Da Vinci Code. I loved Inferno. I loved everything. But then Digital Fortress. Somehow I got stuck at one page, and then I couldn't. You know, I just couldn't turn the page. Till now, it is unread. I have not finished it. in May fact uh, unpopular opinion here a little bit mujhe na kaun si book boli aapne the one which is no no the one which is more popular da vinci code ha ha so, so that i think uh, wo zyada high rated hai and zyada popular mm-hmm. but unpopular opinion here of mine is that digital fortress mujhe zyada achhi lagi thi oh oh <laughs> i have not yet completed and i don't think I still remember that green cover, and every time I used to open it and read it, I used to go into depression for some reason. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sir. Huh. Subconsciously, somehow, I just couldn't relate to it. So it will be my most. I cannot say hated, but I just could not complete it. Yeah. <laughs> Did not finish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, your last question. Yes. So as you said, apart from reading and writing, Manali loves to travel. Hmm. so tell us your ideal vacation what would you where would you want to go how would it happen so if you are given uh, a chance to plan a vacation how would it be 
so describe us ye to matlab main hi planner hu so bhi koi vacation it for the me only make the itinerary plan out the whole thing where we have to go and sometimes it is spontaneous also uh, i i also like that part of traveling where you know you are just deciding on that day ki kahan jana hai to what is the ideal kind of vacation you know jo hum log sochte hain bahut आइडियल यही होगा कि मैं विदाउट प्लानिंग क्योंकि वो मुझे टेंशन नहीं लेना या तो कोई और ले ले या मुझे लोन नहीं लेना है तुम प्लान करो बट देन यू हैव टू लर्न फ्रॉम मी मैं जैसे बुक इफ यू रिमेम्बर स्टोरी अबाउट इट हाउ यू who knows we we have the vacation <laughs> seasons coming in that <laughs> okay that brings us to the end of today's live and as always we have talked about so many things other so than our books <laughs> <laughs> which is my absolute favorite so mujhe lagta hai na jo log dekh rahe hain unse zyada hum enjoy karte hain i know <laughs> oh, we have a question uh, from Arjun. Have you ever got inspired by any dream to write something, a story? I think we both can answer that. First, you go, then I will answer. Yes, you can say there was a. Um, I actually, it was not a dream, but it was kind of na- of a nightmare. Uh, so, and I got up from my sleep. I don't remember the exact details, but somehow that inspired me to write a. Uh, you know um story which was of a similar kind so it's there in the book also wherein uh, you know uh, the kind of um, you get up from the sleep and there is you know there are people uh, and you're not alone also but you go through that emotion of fear and anxiety so right. i have created that in my book also in one of the chapters so that is inspired by one of the nightmares that you know uh, kind of made me spring out of the sleep बहुत डर लगा था मुझे वेन आई वोक अप एंड माई सिस्टर वॉज स्लीपिंग नेक्स्ट टू मी बट इट वॉज आई वॉज इन अ डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड ऑल टूगेदर एंड आई कूडेंट रिकोगनाइज हर ऑल्सो आई डेंट स्क्रीन बट द काइंड ऑफ इमोशन दैट इट वॉज फार बियॉन्ड फ्यूअर यू कैन सी इट वॉज फार बियॉन्ड फ्यूअर सो एंड आई वॉज ऑल इन स्वेट सो इट वॉज अ नाइट मेयर दैट इंस्पायर्ड मी टू दू राइट तरंग इज सेंग नहीं नहीं हम भी एंजॉय करते थैंक यू उनका एक हिंदी बुक मैंने पढ़ा कुछ अन कहा सा आई वॉज टच एंड शी इज क्रिएटिंग मैजिक ऑन नीलेष मिश्रा शोज सो लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टोरीज देर शी हर स्टोरीज आर बींग selected by nilesh mishra and she is on uh, you know the slow app you can find it tarang uh, she is a fabulous storyteller and uh, that hi chandana chandana she is my twitter buddy we write poems and we inspire each other i love oh, her poems hello chandana Big fan of chandana yes okay uh, so i am going to answer arjun's question now uh, yes. asked us have you ever got inspired by any dream to write something a story uh my whole debut novel is based on a dream <laughs> oh yeah you told me <laughs> so uh, i had this dream where you know uh my protagonist adu i did not have the name in mind yet uh, uh the entire to plot of the novel was in a dream where you know this girl moves to mumbai and uh, how she adjusts to the city thanks to these boys and then over a period of time she starts wondering if these boys are more than just friends to her so the entire story revolves around that <laughs> actually i mean seriously a whole novel coming out of a dream that is like you know there it it's just any walking through dream so that manan writes it you know yeah, yeah. sorry manali writes it yeah <laughs> that will be like i can you <laughs> if manan is able to write something something <laughs> i get confused between your names 
that's okay we yeah, we do have rhyming names so yeah that happens a lot <laughs> so hi hi chandan i love her symbols i mean she is a, she is also a very motivating person she has always motivated me uh, for my podcast also but thank thing is that i don't find the time you know wo ho nahi pata but she introduced me to uh, podcasting and i love that but i want to do more as i said i want to engage more create more do more but ho nahi pata but i think next year i'll be more active keeping my fingers crossed you will be i am sure you will be we will keep pushing you you know the people in the community we will encourage you <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much i am really honored to be on the show and uh, please guys this is my new book uh, and uh, this is a virtual kind of uh, launch that i'm manali is helping me here so traces and memoir please uh, do read it give your reviews on amazon and a few words on goodreads it is free on kindle uh, unlimited yeah thank you wow it is free on kindle unlimited uh, so if you have access to that you can do that and please write a few words because that those words help us a lot and yes every review counts i keep saying that every review counts even if you are a little shy to write the review we generally give out our email ids also at the end of the book humko ek email hi dal do yaar ya to hamare social media page pe ja ke hame dm kar do ki hamari book aapko achhi lagi that's all we need having said that my next year target is to write lot many reviews so wo nahi ho pa raha hai so i'll do that at least on amazon i'll write even if i am not able to do it on my blog so that is what i have planned in my what we can do is hold up your book i'll hold up my book and we yes, can that's what i'm saying yeah. i loved your cover the kind of yes i loved it i was about to see it such a beautifully you know metamorphic metaphorical way you have done it so sirf sirf cover karo aage to usko baad mein hum screenshot bhi kar sakte hain yes <laughs> so these are our books that we are promoting and uh, both the books are available on kindle unlimited you can read it for free if you have the kindle unlimited subscription otherwise also they are not very costly even if they are costly they are worth the price <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> so much labor has gone into creating yes. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us on a sunday afternoon at two uh kitne vele ho yaar tum log संडे मुझे तो लगा था पता नहीं क्या होगा और हमारा दस मिनट लेट वैसे ही हो गया स्ट्रगलिंग संडे एक संडे करना है बट थैंक यू एवरी वन ज्वाइन एंड शेयर अस सो थैंक यू सो मच we are really appreciate you joining us on a holiday and on a free day so that means a lot to us and hope you enjoyed it uh this video will be available for later viewing also on my igtv and on my youtube channel so those of you who have missed it can always go back and have a look thank you chinmay once again and have a great thank you manali day. from all my heart thank you so much for the opportunity lots of love keep writing keep inspiring we are doing this again next year or maybe this yeah. year let's see चलो बाय बाय टेक केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ गेट वेल सुन या बाय बाय